Halloween, baby! Woo! My friend Alex said. I was cheering along, because this is the night we were going to do that shadow lurker thing in the mirror. I had to admit, I was a bit scared, because I had a hard time knowing if some things are real or not. My name is Megan, and I love scary crap ever since I was 11 years old. I'm now 22, and I had recently read a creepypasta with Alex last night, actually. It was about the shadow lurker. He was similar to the solid form of the Black Plague one famous author had portrayed. I live in New York City, New York, and I have a very nice apartment. We are at Alex's house now, though, in front of a mirror in complete darkness. Alex lit the flame that illuminated every little bit. My knees felt like literally noodles, and I was freezing, considered it was like 80 degrees in the house. 20 minutes of doing these steps, and the flame ignited high, and was now blue. We looked at each other, and I gulped. He nodded. A sh a sh shadow lur lurker, he stuttered. I slowly turned to him, and shook my head in disappointment. I looked into the mirror, gained complete courage, and slammed my hands on the sink, saying, Shadow lurker. The flame went out. The window busted, and Alex backed into me on my right side. Wait. Alex is on my left side. I felt my face literally drain of all color. I screamed an ear-splitting, blood-curling scream. Somebody that was not Alex was in the bathroom with us, and it said, <laughs> You called. It's cold. Cracked hands wrapped around my waist and I felt a forked tongue lick my cheek. Megan. I screamed. Waking up on the couch. It looked like Alex's house. I sighed. Knowing it was a dream, but wondered why I'd come here. At 2 a.m. I ran into the bathroom and screamed, hearing a malicious laugh in the distance. <gasps> Alex was on the ceiling in ways the human body was not supposed to bend. His arm was jutting through his, or what I thought was his stomach. His head was flipped around all the way, making it upside down, and his face was ripped off completely. His left arm, not the jutting one, was pointed to the mirror. His fingers, all broken, bloody, and one was even stuck in his arm, much like a cat's thumb. I slowly turned to the mirror, hating what I was about to see, and I was right to hate it. The skin and features of his face were stuck to the mirror, and I saw two beady eyes looking through Alex's face, and a smile too big for an actual face. <laughs> Hello.